vibe. Yo, 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 it's about life podcast. It's your boy, Black Duplicate. You already know what it is. Yes, health day, you know, one of my favorite times. I, I love talking about health. Health is one of my favorite topics, you know, taking care of the body, taking care of the mind, taking care of the soul, things that matter to me the most. You know what I mean? I love seeing people get healthy and get stronger and get better and feel good about themselves and feel confident about themselves. That's one of my most favorite things to look at and watch and observe. I love that shit. That shit's fantastic. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this video is basically going into some health some health topics. You know, uh, We got a video on charcoal and some of the benefits of charcoal. Uh, we're going to dive into um, how plants can reverse some of the damage done by other things like let's say um meat has damaged your body uh the plants can actually go in there and repair that damage done by the meat which is why i call plants herbs right they're herbs they're medicines i don't think they're supposed to be consumed on a daily basis unless you have a condition my personal opinion do what you want i think fruits are the number one food we're supposed to be eating uh and then uh we also got um we got something else in there too that we're gonna dive into as well so let's get the party started yes i i heard a little bit about charcoal uh i didn't know this though i didn't know it actually cleaned your butt your blood i find that f- pretty interesting and pretty fantastic i'm definitely going to do some research onto that and do a deep dive this guy has some interesting stuff to say about that and uh yeah uh let's let's figure this out eh what do they use for, to clean your blood charcoal filters charcoal it's the best man filtration it's crazy there is. it's charcoal mm-hmm. and it's adsorptive interestingly not absorptive like a sponge adsorptive like electromagnetically attracts the wrong charge materials like heavy metals for example glyphosate is attracted to the charcoal so it's not a sponge people think oh it's a sponge it isn't so it's um, more like electroplating uh-huh yes it's like it's like a refrigerator mm-hmm. you know the charcoal comes in like the refrigerator and then it attracts all those magnets to it mm-hmm. but eventually there's too many magnets and it doesn't stick to the fridge anymore and then that charcoal has been used up mm-hmm. um, but that takes a while to use it up you see that that's really crazy so literally i guess the charcoal goes inside your system and takes all that bad minerals and nutrients and 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 metals you know the bad stuff not the i don't know what i don't know if it attracts the good shit i don't know but maybe he's saying it's more of a magnetic force to only attract metals i don't know i want to do my research in this but that's fantastic because i know cilantro also helps remove the heavy metals from certain areas i know it has a chemical within it that allows it to enter into your enter through your brain's membrane i don't know exactly what it's called it's like uh scientifically but it has a cool name and the cilantro's chemical can go supposedly can go into your brain and remove whatever heavy metals are in your brain messing up your, your thoughts giving you headaches all that type of shit removes it but interesting to say imagine if you were consuming cilantro and then had also consume some charcoal so so when the cilantro removes those heavy metals the charcoal attracts those heavy metals to it and then allows it to flush out of your system way easier so that's something interesting that i want to look into and i find that find that incredibly interesting now i one thing about this video coming up i'm gonna be real with you i thought i didn't think salt had the best um benefits for you i thought it was a more like a, a drying agent a lot of sodium tearing you up messing you up clogging your hair follicles which i'm sure it does when you overuse anything but then again anything consumed too much can obviously have some type of negative effect so should have thought about that plus the ocean's full of massive amounts of salt i don't know if it's like but if it's different than the salts we're consuming i'm assuming it is because you can't just go drink ocean water I'm sure it's more than just the salts. I'm sure there's other bacterias and 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 parasites and all types of shit in that water that probably tears you up. But I did not know that the the positivity is behind salt until this video. Man with high blood pressure, I put them on Celtic salt. Celtic salt. Why does he put them on Celtic salt? Because Celtic salt contains 82 minerals. It's a hand harvested sea salt. Look at that. Let's go back real quick. Look at that. Salt provides relief for arthritis, boosts immune system, enhances cardiac functioning, promotes digestion, rejuvenates skin. That's incredible, man. Sea salt. So the minerals are in the Celtic salt in their balanced form. What about Himalayan salt? In many places, Himalayan salt is a lot easier to get. There's 70 
about 75 minerals. So it's pretty good. But I prefer the Celtic salt. And one reason is that the Celtic salt has three magnesiums. It contains magnesium chloride. Interesting and stuff, magnesium man. Magnesium bromide and magnesium sulfate. Magnesium is a water hungry molecule. And this explains why the Celtic salt is such a moist salt, especially when we've had a lot of rain, because those three magnesiums absorb the moisture. And because Crazy. magnesium is a water-hungry molecule, yes, magnesium is incredible. It can be used to help the water get into the cell. So when you take a crystal of Celtic salt, put it on your tongue, and some say, "How big's a crystal?" Well. If you've got high blood pressure, start small, about the size of a sesame seed. I don't have high blood pressure, so I might have about three times little sesame seeds. Put it on your tongue, your mucous membranes start absorbing the minerals. The magnesium is taken to the cell membrane and you drink your water. And that magnesium pulls that water inside the cell. It's the quickest way to hydrate a body. The only time... Which I should have known better because when you, when, like when you buy certain like waters that has like uh, sodium, like added sodium, which I'm assuming they're probably pouring a little, getting mixing it with some type of salt or some shit. I'm not sure about their whole entire process, but I never really looked into the actual health benefits of salt. I did see the negative benefits, but then again, I think it definitely depends on what kind of salt you're consuming. I know this processed bullshit ass salt. So you got to get like probably real Celtic salt and Himalayan salt, like real salt, not bullshit, which I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, th those are some fantastic health benefits, man. I'm definitely going to do some research on that. So, so now I got to dive into charcoal. I got to dive into salt. Those are two things I want to dive into to see uh, what's really going on behind the scenes over there. And then she's talking about that thing I was telling you about how the plants or the herbs go in there and can rejuvenate your body uh, from the damage done by, let's say, meat, as she, as she mentions, which is other damages as well. But we're going to start there. It was after about three straight weeks of looking into all of this science behind what animal protein and what animal fat do to you inside your body as a cellular response, skyrocketing estrogen levels, making growth factors go through the roof, hitting the immune system, creating angiogenesis, angio blood vessel genesis creation, right? The creation of new blood flow to these sinister little cancer cells that then get the nutrients they need not only to grow, but they just created their exit strategy straight out of the blood to your liver or bone. You know what she just said, right? Now, I don't know if that science is happens with every single human being on earth or if that just happened to be the subjects that they have. I don't know, you know, but of course I have to be more science looked into that. It was really interesting. So overwhelming Listen to this, clear processes that happen inside the body. I was equally stunned by the power of plants mm. to utterly stop, prevent, reverse those same processes inside your body crazy so basically if you get conditions from eating let's say meat and then you go into a vegan based diet which is herbs eat a lot of herbs i don't want to say any old plant this you can't just go out there to walmart man and just eat any old plant and think it's going to heal your body it's not how it works, man. It's not how it works. You got to get real herbs, man. Real herb type plants. That's a whole nother video to get into to, to discuss herbs versus regular damn plants you buy at Walmart, right? There's a whole different subject when it comes to this herbology, man. There's people that have been studying herbs their whole life, shamans, regular people out here that are just interested in looking. I, I've been looking into it myself, but not enough to sit here and give you actual legitimate information about it. I would much rather have some stuff pulled up and we could discuss and go over it together and all that type of shit. And I'll give the insight and the information that I do know about it. But either way, the herbs will go in there and fix the condition that you that you that was undertaken by the let's say by the culprit. Let's say the culprit was meat and the meat, you know, gave you some type of cancerous uh, problems within your body, then the herbs can go in there and reverse prevent and rejuvenate that shit, that thing done to you. That's freaking incredible, man. 
that's that's revolutionary but i think we already knew that just people want to deny and don't want to believe this shit so if we know herbs are able to re- prevent stop and reverse all that stuff that means it's a form of medication it's a form of medicine now we do know you shouldn't be consuming medicine on a daily basis I don't think that's healthy either to be consuming herbs 24-7 all the time. I don't think that's the way to go. But I'm not going to say you go out there and damage your body. No. But I do know there's food out there that doesn't damage your body or doesn't medicate it either. It purely gives it what it needs. That's your fruits. Your fruits are designed to give your body exactly what it needs while, while herbs are there to heal your body. Right, And then meats are there to strengthen your body. So everything is designed for a specific reason. And I think should be consumed at certain points for certain specific reasons. If you're a warrior and your lifespan is low, I think you should go out there and consume massive amounts of meat and animal products. It's going to strengthen you up, make you stronger so you can go out there and fight wars and fight battles. If, if, if you're a child or somebody that has you know, a villager like a, a librarian or a scientist or something like that, you should be consuming heavy amounts of, 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 of fruits. That's going to rejuvenate your body and expand your lifespan and allow you to live longer right or if you're somebody that got sick you were out there in the jungle harvesting gathering fruits and you got a cut from something and you got sick then you should be consuming herbs via plants to help heal you and rejuvenate your body just a theory just a thought i'm just sharing my thoughts with y'all but that's all we got that's all we got for y'all a quick little health video to give y'all some 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 peace of mind and let you know what how I'm thinking and what I'm thinking about and how I'm thinking about doing this. Um, but that's just something I thought about. You know, I think each class of human being on what you're doing with your life should dictate how you're eating. You're a warrior, you eat meat. If you're a scientist or a child, you eat fruit. If you're sick or have issues, you eat herbs. Just a thought. Just my, my thoughts. But I love y'all. It's Black Duplicates Health Day. You got any good information you want me to look into or talk about, post it down below. I love to review some of your stuff and go over it and get my opinion on it. Uh, I would love to do that. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to all my content. Go hit that like button. It's free. I appreciate it. I need the help. So, uh, yeah, we out of here. I love y'all. Till next time. Yes, about life.